I spoke to uh, Takeoff's mother early this morning, and um, my prayers, and I ask that all our prayers continue to go out to her and his entire family, his close friends. We lost a good man. Breaking news, first at five, less than two hours ago, Houston police announcing an arrest in the deadly shooting of Atlanta rapper Takeoff. The arrest coming just one month after Takeoff was gunned down outside a bowling alley in Houston, Texas. Latasha Givens is in the studio for us tonight with the details. And Latasha, this is an update that fans have been waiting for. That's right, Ron and Jennifer. It definitely is. Houston police say they used physical evidence, ballistics, and shooting reconstruction tools to determine what weapons were involved in the shooting. And from there, Police say they were able to determine Patrick Xavier Clark fired the fatal shot, ending takeoff's life. Now, police say they arrested the 33 year old Clark yesterday. And after so much unconfirmed information has circulated about this case, detectives lay out what they have been able to determine actually happened that night. The event was a private party. Um, there was a lucrative dice game that went on at the event. There was an argument that happened afterwards outside the bowling alley, which led to the shooting. I can tell you that Takeoff was not involved in playing in the dice game. He was not involved in the argument that happened outside. He was not armed. He was an innocent bystander. I am glad that a suspect has been arrested and charged with Takeoff's death. Uh, it certainly, I think, will bring some comfort to the family, though it does not bring a Takeoff back. Uh, this is a significant step towards seeking justice, and I hope it also brings uh, additional comfort to all of those who love Takeoff. And also at the press conference, investigators talked about the detective work conducted to make this arrest possible. They say that came with zero help from the more than 30 people who were at the scene at the time. We'll have much more on this arrest tonight at 6.